today we're going to be discussing about Japan in World War II. Uh, Japan wanted to be, to be the king of East Asia and started the war with the U.S. and Southeast Asia, but ultimately gained and fought quickly. There are lots of interesting facts about Japan. Let's check it out. Japan to be involved in World War II. Are there any crises among Japan? We Japanese like the Germans want, want to establish an empire in East Asia. We want, we want more living space for Japan was already overcrowded. Already attacked attack China to end economic power and raw materials before World War II. There are two turns in the side of Japan's compare one was China for East Asia and the other was used for the Pacific at that time we had powerful enemies to build an empire we had confidence to win. As soon as you break the FDR side of China is yeah, with us, we began our conquest on Pearl Harbor, Philippines, Gama, Indonesia, Malaya. And Hong Kong. Actually, I will say that it was the U.S. that caused Japan to take action. U.S. President Franklin afraid Japan will control the Pacific, so he gave military power to China and cut off supply with Japan. This made Japan angry, so they started the war. Stop blaming the other country. We Japan start the war. Be responsible. Please respect other people's opinion. Just end opinion. <clears throat> Japan starts the war because of our greediness too. You need to add that too. Well, I need to add that. What? Are you trying to hide the mistake of a, a country? No. Okay, let's take a break. <laughs> Hello. Come home early. I can't. I'm working. I lit some candles. I'm swamped. I bought by bye. Seven. Oh! Oh! For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Come again. Hey, he's got a pencil, Lashes. Okay, now, Japan must have a very strong leadership in order to take action so firmly and fast. Uh, Dr. P, what kind of leaders to Japan had that led to the intention of attacking Pearl Harbor. <clears throat> At that time, we definitely had a strong political and military leader. The leader was brutal and aggressive and they used propaganda to strengthen our mind to fight. The most important political leader was Hideki Tojo. He became the Prime Minister and soon had popularity for his dream of victories in East Asia. He was the one who commanded the illegal war by attacking Manchuria and East Asia. I, Tojo, as a leader, will make our empire larger. 
I support the German Nazi and Fascist Italy. I will make our empire successful and bring glory back. I plan to take East Asia to support our economy crisis and bring living space for our citizens. This is Rich Fantasia from his first day being Prime Minister. Hmm, Isoroku Yamamoto was the naval military leader at that time. Yamamoto was actually an old opponent of Tojo, so they were both worn really well. He was the one that motivated Tojo to attack the Pacific and the US. Later, he became the leader of attack of Pearl Harbor. Well, General Tojo seemed not interested in the Pacific conquest. My point is that we have to attack the US primarily to gain the Pacific first, then we can get East Asia easily. But the general isn't me. I plan to use the Kami Kazir sacrifice and we will not surrender to anyone. We would rather die. Basically, in the battlefront, Japanese soldiers received command from the general, but they most of simplified. They will run directly to the enemy and kill it. They think it, it is glorious of them to simplify of their country. Most Japanese soldiers hold many bullets and move forward. They will even cut themselves red than surrender. What do you mean by holding bullets? What do you mean by cut themselves? Almost all of the Japanese soldiers had a firm heart that they will never surrender. They will kill themselves like the tradition Harakiri. After World War II, Japan had an air raid along system to being attacked, and citizens often stay in the bomb shelter. Okay, Dr. Sean, what are some lasting impact for Japan? Did anything change? Almost all of the cities in Japan were damaged after bombing the factory. The factories, railways were all destroyed. Japan lost almost all of 
these ter territories and the U.S. military controlled and even censored Japan's media system. Political and military leaders were chosen of anti illegal wars. More than 5,000 military officers committed suicide. Emperor Hero Peter didn't get from from the battle, lost all of his authority to U.S. Purdue was accused and hung hunger. Change did happen in Japan. The Americans used softness to overcome the hardness of Japan and move the Japanese. Americans respect Japan by following good Japanese manners. They also help Japan to improve economy and change government. This act changed the moral range of Japanese. Also, social change like the role of women has the right to do equal jobs as men. People got more freedom, right, right to vote, freedom of press, political parties, and right to have state or union. In other words, Japan becomes a more democracy country. Uh, lastly, let's make a conclusion on how World War II is connected to industrialization role of government and citizens, nationalism, imperialism, and legacy. Dr. Hank. The increase of industrialization and technology make World War II a global war. For example, the Battle of Pacific. Airplane can attack across the, the Pacific Ocean. Could citizen help the army to communicate faster? The citizen change a government after World War II to have right in control of their government they want. Later, Japan changed from imperial Japan to democracy. Nationalism created war by unifying people to break apart of from, for example, the Ottoman Empire, the nationalist feelings made people to until the end and uh, even theory increase the time of war and the uh, number of wars. Americans start the war. For example, German wanted to create an emperor because of social Darwinism or resident of people. Japan expanded the emperor for a competition for resource. The legacy of World War II is hope for a lasting peace. World War II gave a vision of World War, what war was like. So the government and citizens take action to avoid war. Examples such as appeasement and threats to economy or tackles still used.